taking your first electric trike ride. Be careful, and here's what you need to know. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I'm nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And if you're taking your first electric trike ride, be careful. And I wanna tell you what you have to know, but before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we do, and of course, new product releases. All right, if you've just got an electric trike or you're shopping for an electric trike or even just a tricycle, be careful. Now, I say that because a lot of people that are getting onto a tricycle or an electric tricycle after coming off of a two-wheel bike don't realize how different a tricycle is going to feel and perform versus a two-wheel bike. Now, I want to give you a few tips on what to know and how to be careful uh, when riding a tricycle. Now, the number one thing a lot of people are concerned with is tipping over um, a tricycle. Now, if that is a really big concern of yours, one thing I wanna point out is you may want to opt for something like this, which is a recumbent e-trike, a much longer wheelbase, lower to the ground. It's going to be significantly more stable than any other uh, tricycle on the market. Now, other trikes are stable as well, but there is a learning curve in getting used to them. Okay, so let me demonstrate a few things. Right here, we have our simple step through fat tire e-trike. And a couple things you need to know. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up right here. All right. Now, one of the most important things on an electric tricycle, now I know the seat is a little bit low for me. Let me raise this up. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, one really important thing. If, again, if you're getting onto an electric trike or a tricycle for the first time, please, take a test ride in a very open space, like a parking lot, and make sure you do it on flat ground. This is very important, especially if you've just bought a 630 e-trike or you're looking at another trike. I really don't care how many years you've been riding bicycles for. I've done countless test rides here with all different ages and athletic abilities, and I've seen the most athletic 20-year-old struggle to get adjusted to a tricycle. Now, with that said, over a 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute period, most riders have figured it out and they've gotten comfortable. Now, the key to that is when you get comfortable, don't get overconfident. You want to make sure you still remember the important principles of riding a trike and you're mindful of them. And my goal for you is you want to develop those tendencies through practice. So. Take it slow, get used to it, don't get overconfident. Okay, so first thing, whenever you're mounting or dismounting an electric tricycle, leave the motor off. Do not turn it on until you're mounted and you're ready to ride. When you finish a ride, turn the motor off before you dismount. This is gonna alleviate any accidental, um, you know, usage of the pedal assist or the throttle if the trike you buy has a throttle. In this case, we have a twist throttle up here. A thumb throttle is another option available that we also have on our other trikes. Now, the key, so as I said, flat ground and open space. Now, tricycles are have a risk of tipping if they're improperly ridden, right? Now you can see on this trike, we've got really fat uh, four inch wide tires. So the stability of this is hands down better than most e-trikes out there because of the wheelbase, the fat tires. Also, we have a 24 inch in the front and 20 inch in the rear. So it's actually set lower in the rear to create more stability. Now, the important thing to know is taking turns on 
trikes or e-trikes, go slow. Now, on a two-wheel bike, you generally would want to accelerate into the turn or at least not decelerate because on a two-wheel bike, you wanna keep it upright and to keep it upright, you've gotta keep the wheels moving and going at a certain pace. Now, on a tricycle, you wanna do the opposite. You wanna slow down into the turn, make your turn, and then come out of the turn and accelerate. So once your turn is nearly completed, at that point, you can accelerate. If you accelerate into a turn, there's going to be a risk of tipping over. Now, the way to counteract that, if for whatever reason you do, is you want to properly counter lean against the turn, right? So if you're taking a big turn and you're leading in like this, you could pop that wheel up, right? So if you're coming around a turn like this, you want to counter lean your body. Now, leaning on a trike is not to steer. That's important to remember. Counter leaning is to keep the weight of the trike down on that turn. So if you're coming into a turn and you come like, in, you don't wanna lean into the turn, you'll pop that wheel out. You wanna actually shift your weight to the outside to keep this rear wheel down. Now, very important to remember, if you're just getting used to riding a trike, don't take sharp turns, just get comfortable going straight. And as you get used to it, you can start to take slow turns and get used to the accelerating, the decelerating in and out of turns, things like that. I say this because more so than even on a two wheel bike, the correct usage of the speed and the correct usage of the body weight transfer is more important on a tricycle. Now, the other thing is if you're riding an e-trike or a trike, be careful going over uneven ground. Let's say you're going up a curb or you're on a slant. If you ride into a slant with a trike, if you don't counter balance to the, to the, uh, into the slant, there's a chance that you're going to tip over. So things you have to be mindful of. Now, trust me, you'll get it and you'll figure it out. It's just important to practice if you've never been on a trike or e-trike as an adult because our brains are wired to ride a two-wheel bike and now you're switching to a three-wheel bike, which is much, much different. So as long as you stay on flat ground as you're learning, ease into the turns and get used to how you would handle things on slopes or inclines, you should be fine. Now with that said too, going up hills or inclines, one important thing to remember is don't stop midway through the hill if you can avoid it, because getting going um, at a midpoint in a hill is going to be challenging. Also, if you get off the bike midpoint of a hill, may be challenging for you to mount and dismount. I actually recommend if you do have to stop midway in a hill and you don't feel comfortable, go back down and start again. If you have an electric assist, um, it shouldn't be a big deal because you can utilize the motor. Uh, but starting on a hill on a tricycle can sometimes be a tricky uh, situation. Now, I've done a lot of other videos on how to take turns, how to ride a trike. Check those out on our YouTube channel. But please be careful. Take your time. Get used to an electric tricycle before you get overconfident out there zipping around. And if you need to on that first you know, few rides or as you're learning, don't use the electric at all. Get used to pedaling manually. As you get comfortable, then you can introduce the assistance. I think number one is getting used to the balance and the steering without the assistance. Then you can start to tackle the assistance. So one step at a time till you get to where you feel safe and comfortable. And I would say even just follow these steps regardless of how safe or comfor comfortable you feel initially because it will build up your number one, your confidence, but it'll also build up your skill set when it comes to driving a tricycle. Now, you may laugh at me for saying a skill set when it comes to, laugh, to riding a tricycle, but just like riding a bike, we all had to learn and riding a trike is no different. Now, if you have any other questions or thoughts on the topic, please comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Don't forget, both of these e-trikes linked in the description below. We actually offer a 30-day test ride your e-trike policy. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. 
in addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for up to one year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of it parts and labor. Lastly, be a part of our community. We have a Facebook group with thousands of members. Join the group before you purchase to talk to existing riders to get their opinion on their e-trike. Then when you have yours, post in the group, make friends, it's a lot of fun. And then lastly, download the app, track our ride, your rides and compete on the leaderboard. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the rides.